Hello and welcome. My name is Pratul Verma and I am the solution expert on the Office of CFO Solutions from SAP. In today's video, we are going to talk about a very key area of financials which is on top of minds of all financial transaction related people in your organization which is the monthly financial close process. As you are aware, SAP has a wide range of solution to cover each and every need in the financial accounting requirement at your organization. Today, we are going to specifically talk about one of the pieces of the solution, which relates to the entity close management. When we talk about entity close management, let us firstly understand what are the drivers and challenges for the financial close at your organization. An independent survey by the Deloitte organization shows that financial close, consolidation and reporting is still one of the top priorities for every CFO. This is a process that we as financial people do day in and day out. Still, it consumes the most amount of time and the most amount of effort. Some of the challenges in the entire financial close process are laid out here on this slide. There are challenges related to transparency. As we are all aware, there are a number of stakeholders who, who are responsible for various processes in the monthly close, but it all comes down to compliance. What, when, by whom is the questions that we need to answer on a constant basis while doing our monthly close. We have challenges around transparency and efficiency because the processes of our monthly close are highly manual. Compliance is again one of the biggest challenges faced by financial people while doing their monthly close. This is a representation of the typical manual orchestration of the monthly close process without a solution like SAP Financial Closing Cockpit. You would have a list of tasks which will be listed out in an Excel sheet against which you would have the name of the people responsible for executing that task and there would be somebody sitting centrally who would then communicate with all the persons responsible for the closing process and keep updating this sheet day in and day out. While this has worked for you till now, there is a lot of scope for improvement going forward and we are going to show you just how that can be done. Let's talk about some things which add to this complexity of the already complicated financial closing process. You all within your organizations have a network of resources. By this, I mean you have ERP and non-ERP systems. They might be SAP or non-SAP systems from where the transaction data for the monthly close is being derived. On top of that, you have a network of processes. There are a lot of manual handovers and a lot of interfaces to be handled while transferring data from one process to another, which in turn leads to process disruptions because of these manual handovers and interfaces. And lastly, on top of all of these, you have a network of people or a network of brains. There is a lot of transactional activity that takes place during a monthly close process, which might be spread over a large region, which might be spread over multiple countries. And there is a lot of email and phone driven communication that happens as a result of a lot of people being involved. This in turn adds to the complexity of the already complicated monthly closing process. So let's talk about how the SAP financial closing cockpit can help you overcome some of these challenges and streamline the financial close process for you. While planning the monthly close, the SAP Financial Closing Cockpit will give you one single interface wherein you can define task lists and templates of the tasks that need to be executed for the financial close. These tasks can then be categorized based on their nature. Are these transactions? Are these reports that have to be run? Are these assessment and distribution cycles 
which have to be run to allocate the right cost to plan my close. The second step is the execution. And in the execution, the SAP Financial Closing Cockpit gives you a unique interface from where you will be able to execute all the tasks using one single interface. You do not need to go to individual programs to execute them. All of that can be done from one single window, which is the SAP Financial Closing Cockpit. Thirdly, it helps you to monitor how the financial close process is proceeding. It gives you real-time information on which are the tasks that have been started, which are the tasks that have been delayed, and which are the tasks that are pending for a previous task to be completed. This way, you can have a good control over how the financial close process in your organization is being handled. Last but not the least, the financial closing cockpit will help you to analyze the result of the entire financial close process. It comes with a bunch of standard reports which will help you to analyze and identify those tasks which typically take more time to complete in a financial close process. It's a constant cycle of optimization when you plan, execute, monitor and analyze the entire finance close process through the financial closing cockpit. Let me now give you a glimpse into the solution itself. We'll start with the first stage of the financial close planning. Once you go into the solution, you will be able to see how you can define a monthly template in which day-wise you will be able to define the key tasks and activities that need to be carried out. As you can see, against each of these activities, there are various icons which represent the type of task that is to be executed. It could be a job, it could be a flow definition, it could be a transaction, it could be a note that has to be entered by someone, and so on. In this way, you can categorize the various tasks to be executed within the financial close process itself. Once this list is created, it is reusable and can be reused multiple times in the financial close process. So define once and use many times. In the second step, let's see how you actually prepare for a monthly close. While preparing for a monthly close, you can define which task need to be executed at which particular time interval. So you can create a periodic task list based on the activities that have been defined in the global task list. As you can see, there are a number of options which are available to define the parameters that need to be taken into account while executing a certain activity or a certain task. And you also have the option to schedule these tasks while carrying out the financial close. Third, let's see how the execution takes place. For the purpose of the demo, I will show you how the manual execution takes place by way of the financial closing cockpit. In an actual scenario, you would want to automate most of these processes. You can select which kind of tasks do you want to see. The solution will go and show you only the particular task that you are responsible for. Once the tasks have been selected, you can see the status of those tasks by way of the status icons or traffic light indicators, which help you easily identify what is the task status, which tasks need to be executed, and which task is lagging behind. If you go to a particular task, you can select what needs to be done for this particular task. For example, in this case, an assessment for distribution of the cost to the cost center has to be run. When I select to schedule this particular task, I will get the option of scheduling this task. If you go to the details, you will be able to see when this task was executed, by which transaction, with whose authorization, the start date and the end date of the task. You can also see the related files to this task. Uh, there is a whole bunch of documentation which is generated as part 
of the financial close process. So from an auditing standpoint, you are totally covered when it comes to documentation for any of the transactions that have happened during the financial close process. You can also track the history of any of the tasks and you can also track the schedule and enter manual comments against any of the tasks that have been executed during the financial close process. Lastly, let us look at how the financial closing cockpit can help you monitor and analyze what you've been doing during the entire financial close process. As you can see, you have a bunch of reports which are available to you, which show you how you have performed during the monthly financial close process. You can see which are the tasks which have dependencies. You can see which of the tasks which have been executed. You can see which are the tasks which has been pending or has taken a lot of time. And this becomes an input for you for the next monthly closing cycle to improve upon these tasks. You can also see the number of reports that are available for the financial close process for you to analyze how you've performed against the timelines and the parameters that you've set for yourself in the financial close process. An extension of the already available reporting capabilities within the financial closing cockpit is the financial closing cockpit enabled by the SAP Business Objects dashboard solution. This is a sample dashboard of how the monthly closing process can be monitored and analyzed by way of a dashboard. As you can see, there are a number of activities which are divided into the pre-close activities, the first day of close, the second day of close and the third day of close. On each of the days, you have the option to select either a processor or a region or a activity status. And you will be able to generate a list of activities that you want to monitor. Plus with these dial gauge indicators, it gives you real time view into how you're performing as per your monthly closing process on any day of the close you will be able to identify any activity which has to be performed or which is lagging behind in terms of being performed on time this gives the user of the financial closing cockpit a very quick and easy way to identify monitor and analyze the financial close process through one single interface as part of this presentation, we've seen how the financial closing cockpit can help you improve the financial closing process at your organization. How the financial closing cockpit will be able to provide efficiency to the closing process, giving transparency and insight into the details of the closing process while ensuring 100% compliance and governance compliance in terms of the financial. So in the end, to summarize, I would like to talk about some of the benefits and capabilities that the SAP financial closing cockpit solution will bring to the financial close process at your organization. Firstly, stronger governance with the financial closing cockpit. You can define the task list and template ensuring that no process, no activity in the financial close is missed out. You can also define times when these processes are to be scheduled to be executed and also roles and responsibilities are a key matrix in the financial closing cockpit itself. So you can have a very strong governance for the entire financial close process within your organization. Secondly, increased efficiency is one of the key areas and key benefits that our customers have experienced by using the financial closing cockpit by automating most of the processes in the financial close and the execution of those processes and gathering of results can be consolidated into one single user interface. Better insight is again one of the key areas where the financial closing cockpit can help you by providing real time information into where you lie in terms of closing 
on a month on month basis plus it can also give you insight into any processes that consume a lot of time during the monthly financial close this in turn leads to the accelerated financial close and we've seen organization experiencing dramatic reductions in times while using the financial closing cockpit as compared to a conventional close process which is run manually and last but not the least is the total cost of ownership it is a single installation of the financial closing cockpit which can be used to run the financial close across multiple instances on your it landscape you can integrate with both sap and non sap systems with the help of the process automation component of the financial closing cockpit and you can use and leverage your existing it infrastructure to install and run the financial closing cockpit a lot of our customers have already experienced these business benefits by implementing and using the financial closing cockpit and now it's your chance to do the same if you have any further questions with regard to the financial closing cockpit please feel free to reach out to us or write to me at the given email address thank you so much for watching this video have a great day